You know, when I read the Bible, I, I used to work for Youth for Christ for 14 years. I've got a passion for young people. And when I read the Bible, I ask the question many young people ask. Not what does it say, what does it look like? You know, we live in a visual age. And often I think about scripture, I think when Moses saw the sea split, what did it look like? What if there was a big fish? Did that split too? And how muddy was the ground? I wish I'd known. Or when Lot's wife turns around and becomes a pillar of salt. Why salt, not pepper? I've always wondered that. Or, or when Elijah goes up to heaven and there's whirlwinds and there's chariots and there's fire. And all Elisha's left with is a second-hand coat. What did it look like for him to walk back down the hill to see 50 prophets waiting to say, uh, can't split a river like Elijah could? Or what about when Jesus is resurrected from the dead? In the Gospel of John, we see that when Jesus is resurrected from the dead, the very first thing he does, he starts folding up dirty washing. There's two sheets that he was buried in, and he rises from the dead. He folds one up. Clearly, Mary and Joseph raised him really well. Then at some point, he thinks, hang on, I'm the saviour of the world. I need to get out there with my message. And leaves the other sheet unfolded. What does it look like? The Bible is so visual. Anyone who says the Bible is boring hasn't read it. The Bible is the most visually compelling book you could ever come across.